Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So, um, as you can see we're in Minecraft, but I'm wearing some crazy looking armor and I'm in a crazy looking place. So. This is my little um, Japanese East, Japanese state. Inspired base. Got the farm back there. This over here I've been using for, uh, I was gonna say, uh, this is like, uh, resources. This, it's a mod pack. If it wasn't already obvious. And this is part of the mod pack. Um, instead of having like a little kabuki theater, I put a little movie theater in. And, uh, if you want to check it out, we'll just, uh, sit right there and zoom. This is the Vault Hunters mod pack. And I've just been playing solo. Um, I'm sure if some of you have been on the internet for at least even a little bit, you'll recognize some of the people in this. Um, oops, shift, not ghost walk, but, uh, I don't know where that skeleton is. He can frick off. Um, but so if you have not heard of Vault Hunters, basically the gist is, you get this, it's a vault rock, you throw it in there. Oh, lucky one again. Nice. Uh, and then you use it to... And then you throw the items in there. If they would have already been completed like that. I have a skill called Lucky Altar that makes it so the altar is complete for me every now and then. But then they make this finished one, Vault Crystal. I've modified this one slightly to adjust for a bounty that I have. So I just opened the vault. And that portal takes you to the dimensions of the vault. In that dimension, uh, there's a random choice between a bunch of different objectives. Unless you do what I did and slap a seal on there to give you something that you want to do. And, um... So, my last one that I did, I about forgot to have something there to help me. But yeah, um, all the armor, weapons, and then uh, the biggest thing in this is the skill tree. This skill tree is massive, which I was actually about to look into taking something. think we will be taking leech life. Huh. Huh. Or not leech life, but uh, mana steel. But uh, without further delay, let's hop in this vault and see what we get. Hopefully it's something nice and easy to explain. Ah, I see, I see. Um, what was my bad one? Training. Ooh, not good, but offset. Okay, so in your starting room, because this is geared towards having multiplayer in mind. Um, in this room here. Up until you cross through this archway, your timer does not start. It's in the lower left-hand side next to my mana bar and to whatever um, ability I last used. On the right side, it shows me um, anything that's going on in this vault, such as... So it's like I got bonus gilded and ornate chests and then mana drain. So let's begin. This is what I've been doing. And the 
goal of this mod pack is to so that first room that had my artifacts. And by completing the artifacts, you're able to go into a like a last vault. This is actually pretty cool that I get to show this off. I've been looking for this for a while. Alrighty. And this stuff right here just drops a bunch of different goodies. Now this is one of the cool rooms that you can find called an Omega Room. This has a lot of these uh, living chests. Makes me sad that I don't have a bunch of living in on this, but that's just the way it be. And, uh, I've been playing this for some time solo now. And I just thought I'd share since I haven't really been uploading anything interesting. And I figured, hey, even if this, even if my gameplay commentary is boring, god damn, I can at least uh, show you guys some cool stuff. Like these layouts for the for these themes in the vault for some of the rooms. And I've probably done just like a god awful job describing the actual premise of Vault Hunters. But uh another thing that you can do on that page there for uh the where I was showing you guys the skills, or the skill tree at, was there is a... Uh, watch your jiggers. You have to unlock mods to help making it easier to make crystals. Just make life easier. We're just gonna keep on trucking this way. Is what we're looking for literally looks like those, uh, so if you look on the top center of the screen. Some obelisks. And our objective is to find light and destroy the mobs that come through. Here is one of those pillars. And I'm doing this more for my safety like this, but oh, there's one cleared. Alrighty, folks, so I don't know how much I lost on the end of that, but we did survive just barely. About a minute 30 left and there was one of the things sitting right in the middle of the room. But uh, here, this is an artifact. Cannot get better timing than this. That is a trinket there. This is an artifact. So what we do with artifacts, we, we have four. So what we do to 
takes its spot on the wall. There she is. Alrighty. Now what we are going to do is take this off. Right there, throw that there. And we're gonna roll this gear that we picked up while we were in there. I don't know if we found this in here, but we'll roll that too. I have a... No, that's Paradox Vault. Ooh. And so what this means, it's assured to have a legendary modifier. Ooh, high roll on there. Ooh, almost high rolls across the board. Oh. Okay, not bad. High roll, mid roll. This will get put away. And this is an idol. There's four different bulk gods. 6% affinity. Meh. My current one is a 10%. And we use this to roll the rest of the remaining gear and get nothing special. So what we do with this, is we take it out here to this machine, the Vault Recycler, and it reduces it and gives us usable materials out of them. But, yeah, um, so this kind of took all I really was planning on doing. Oh, I can still help. But, uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of insight into what I've been up to lately. You know, this is a little different than the usual content with the Team Fortress and whatnot. So, I'm going to close her out here, just giving you guys like a little panoramic view of the face again. But I do hope that you all have enjoyed this little glimpse into what I've been doing for a while. Um, I don't know if it's just the lack of videos hitting, or my own personal ego and self-esteem getting in the way but like for the better part of the summer like my creativity has been kind of dead so i do want to thank all of you for continuing to watch even if you guys aren't commenting or anything the fact that there's still about 20 of you that check out my video on average it means a lot and I'll keep making stuff as long as you guys want to listen to me ramble and bullshit talk shit you know all the other things in life but uh yeah I do hope you guys have enjoyed I will see you all in the next one peace out <laughs>